Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm super excited because I have another Timu nail supply haul for you guys. Um, I was able to snag some more products from their website and in case you all are not familiar with Timu, here's a little bit of information about their website. Okay happy people, if you all have not heard of Timu, I don't know, you all must be sleeping under a rock like I was for the last couple of months. But yeah, Timu is an online marketplace that offers a variety of different um, products. Everything from women's fashion to men's fashion to household appliances, cookware, um, shoes, clothes, accessories, perfumes, earrings, jewelry, everything you think of is there on Timo and it's very, very affordable. It's an online marketplace and has a variety of different sellers. And um, yeah, I this is my second haul from Timo and I'm really excited. I tried to buy items um, that were nail related, but then also a few that weren't, um, just so you all can see a little bit more variety of what Timo has to offer. I do have a discount code as well. It's gonna be listed on the screen. And then also you guys, they do have an influencer program. I wanted to mention that. Um, I will leave it linked down in the description box below, but if you're an influencer, and you want to try out some Timu products um, and showcase them on your channel, you're able to do that as well. But yeah, y'all, let's hop into this video and see the cool items that I picked up. Y'all know the orange bag says it all. All the items I picked up was under 50 bucks. So let's hop in and see the products. First item that I got is actually a clothing item. You all know in my last video I actually wanted to start um, trying out some of the other items that Timu offered. And so I saw this really beautiful sundress. I'm just going to show that really quick. Um, it's made of a, I don't know how to describe this material, but it's super cute. It is, <clears throat> let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. So it has like this scrunchy, this scrunchy top like so. And then it has like um, a scrunchy arm on it, which is really cute. And I ordered it in the size, I think extra large. It also has ruffles at the bottom. So I thought that was really cute. This was only $10. And I am going to hopefully try to, I'm gonna try to insert a picture of what the dress looks like on, but definitely wanted to show you all that Timu also offers clothing items. And this looks like it's gonna be a really cute dress, perfect for the summertime. Yeah, one thing I like different about this package than the other one is that although they had it in this orange bag, they actually packaged it within this type of bag, which is really nice. So now I'm able to um, take everything out and it just not all be all over the place inside that bag. So that's a really cool touch that they did this time around. But yeah, let's hop into everything else I got. So one of the items I was most excited about getting from Timu is this drill bit holder. I've been like so excited to get one of these. So let me get this open here. Very cool. Yes, I love it. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how cute. I love the design on this. This is such a cute box. So it's gold with like a hollow shift to it. I think on the website they called it Aurora. Oh, they call it laser gold on here, but I think they call it Aurora on the website. But I love this because you can see all of your drill bits at once. You just open it up and then you can place whatever drill bits you need inside of here. For example, you could just put them all in here like so. Oh, and it's really nice and secure. That's awesome. Yeah, I really like this a lot. It's very, very secure. So even if you hold, like tip it over, they're not gonna fall out. You close it and it's, yeah, this seems like a really nice, easy way to travel with your drill bit. So if you're like a traveling nail tech or even, you know, just someone who does DIY nails at home, I think this is a great investment to be able to store all of your drill bits as well as be able to see them at a glance, you know? So yeah, I like this a lot. And it can hold up to 25 drill bits, which is a lot. So yeah, I picked this up. I also picked up these little storage containers. I thought these were really cool. This would be a cool way to either store jewelry as you're traveling or I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. So this came with 10 of them and I believe it was only 89 cents. And one of the things I really liked about this is like, say if you're traveling, if you wanted to, you can store like your earrings in here or a small necklace and close it and it just keeps it nice and secure. And I thought this was a really cool idea. And then also if you wanted to too, you can store like your um, charms in it. So here I just have some random charms from a haul that I recently did. If you 
you wanted to, you can just, you know, store some of your charms in here. And again, this gives you an idea of like jewelry and things, multiple different earrings, and you snap it closed. And it's very secure. So again, this is going to be easy to pop inside a travel bag. And even if like you're, again, a traveling nail tech, you can pop in different like nail art items, rhinestones, things like that um, to have options for your clients. So I thought this was a really cool find as well. And again, it comes with 10 of these little storage containers. So these are going to come in very handy. Next, I picked up a glass file. I've actually been eyeballing one of these for like a really long time. And I just saw it on Timu, so I was like, let me go ahead and um, check it out. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, so it's a glass file. One, I love that it comes in its own individual case, so that's pretty cool. Okay. And then two, this is what the file looks like. I'm actually going to just test it out on one of my nails and just see how I like it. Okay. It's very smooth. Yeah, it's really smooth and I like it. I like the fact that when you use it, it doesn't cause the nail to bend and fold underneath. You know how sometimes that happens when you're following your nails. So that's pretty cool. This also seems like it's gonna be really easy to clean. So yeah, this is my uh, first glass file. So I'm excited to have this and put this to use. I also picked up some wide um, hole needles. And I just picked this up for my own sewing needs. This has absolutely nothing to do with nails, but I thought it was a great find. Um, but I'll just take out one of these here. But as you can see, um, it comes with different size needles, right? So one's a little bit longer, so it comes with various size needles. But what I really liked about it is that the hole for the needle is really wide. So when I'm getting ready to sew or make any repairs to my clothing and such, um, it just won't be so hard to place that um, the thread through the hole. So that's the reason I picked that up. I thought it was a pretty cool purchase and it comes with 15 different needles in here the next item i picked up i guess you could say i picked up a lot of nail art tools but the next item i picked up which i thought was also pretty cool was this um it's it's kind of like a it's a cuticle pusher that has like a grit to it so it's almost like as you're pushing back your cuticles you can also be removing some of the dead cuticle skin so that's why i picked this up so yeah, I like that. So you see how this end has a little bit of a curve to it. This is kind of like a bit of a cuticle pusher. And then this is as well. So you can use it one of two ways. You can either use this part to push back your cuticle and expose dead skin. Or you can use this to push back your cuticle and expose dead skin. But one of the nice things about this end is that you can actually be scraping up some of the dead skin as you're pushing back your cuticles. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to like this a lot. Wow. Look at that. Oh, I like this. I'm already a fan, y'all. I'm already a fan. Look at that. You know, that just cut the time in half to do my cuticle work. Yeah, I like that. Very nice, you guys. Very nice. All right, so yeah, I picked this up. The next item I picked up here is a perfume atomizer. And essentially, I just got this for traveling. This was 89 cents and essentially what you do is at the bottom here it has like a little hole and you'll just place this on top of your perfume bottle and then um, here it shows you how full it is so you'll keep on pumping it until the perfume bottle is full and then you'll be able to just like spray it so again I just picked this up as like a, a travel perfume bottle which is really cute so I got this next I picked up another nail art tool and this here is I thought this was really cool, but this is one of those ombre sponges. I've seen a lot of people use them, and it seems to really help with them being able to do ombre nails. And so I suck at doing ombre, you guys. Like, let me see if I have. Okay, yeah. So look, y'all. So I actually have some practice nails of me trying to do ombre, and I just, I'm just not good at it, right? I was trying to do like a baby boomer nail and I just I'm just not good at it you guys so that's how the nail turned out and so I really wanted to 
um, learned how to do ombre better. And so I picked this up to see if that can help me with my little plight. But yeah, I'll just, you know, you put the one color at the top, one color at the bottom, and then you'll use the sponge to just tap on top of the nail and ombre it out. So I'll be using this hopefully in some future tutorials. Um, and hopefully it, it works good for me. But And if you all have any tips and tricks on how to use this particular tool, definitely leave it down in the comments below because, again, ombre and nails is a struggle bus for me. I also picked up some toenail full cover tips. I sell press-ons at a local business here and I wanted to have some toenails because recently recently they asked me for some press-on toenails and then I realized I don't have any in my collection so I decided to go ahead and try them. I actually did want clear ones but um, they were the ones that I wanted were sold out so I went ahead and just got these. Yeah y'all these are the toenails. I think this is the biggest size. Yeah. I'm actually just going to size it to my toe mail really quick off camera to see if it fits. Yeah, so this is actually a little bit wider than my toenail, meaning that even a size 1 would probably fit my toenail bed perfectly. So, let's see here. Yeah, so the size 1 actually fits my toenail bed perfectly. And, I mean, these aren't like the thickest nail tips, but they also aren't like the thinnest. They're decent quality. Yeah, but once you add on a couple layers of gel polish, um, like a base coat, a couple layers of gel polish, and then a top coat, it will give it the thickness and strength that it needs. And I also really love that it has this little tab here for you to go ahead and have something to grip on to when you're applying it to your toenails. Um, and then um, once you... Once you apply it to your toenails, because the toenails are pretty small, um, but then once you get it applied, you can just take this little tab off and you'll be good to go. So, yeah, I'm glad I picked these up. Um, I'm, I'm guessing I'll be doing more toenail press-on sets, too. The shop I'm selling them at, they said that they had a client who requested them, so I was like, well, I need to get some of those in my collection. So, yeah, I did pick up some toenails, and this did come with, yeah, it came with 600 pieces. Alrighty, so the next item I picked up is this rotating display. I just thought this would be really cool to have for um, like my website and or for just wanting to display nail products. Um, so I'm going to show you all what I'm talking about here. Okay, so it comes with the power cord, which is universal. And then, okay, here's the actual display itself. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Okay, so it's either rechargeable or battery operated. I don't know what battery it takes. Let's see what this is. Okay, so it could take AAA batteries. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and just put in some AAA batteries to see how that works. But it does come with a cord as well, and it's the universal cord with the two little prongs in the back. But I wanna use it as um, battery operated. I wonder if this side takes double A. This looks like a bigger battery. I don't know what battery this takes because this doesn't look like a standard double A battery, but I do have my triple A, so let's see. Okay, and then on here, this is the part where you will plug it in to this is the part where you will plug it in. This has right left. Oh, oh, there we go. Look at that. How cool you guys. Let me play something on it. So you can see it rotate. So how cool. I like that. So you got left, right. See it rotating here. So then if I wanted to, I press this button. Oh, and it goes the other way. Very nice. What this button do? Oh, it speeds it up. Okay, so there's three different speeds. I guess this is the fastest. This is slow, medium, and fast. Oh, I like this. And then what this do? I'm not sure what the third button does on here, but I do know that this one is the, the speed, and this is left, right. That is very cool. So, yeah, you guys, I got this for the purpose of, and it's very, um, quiet too but I got this for the purpose of my business one to take some cool photos and rotations of different items and stuff so I'm going to be hopefully selling on my website in the near future um, as well as uh, to be able to maybe like um, spice up some of my um, PR videos and spice up some of my um, pictures for Instagram 
um, and things like that. So yeah, I am really happy with this purchase. It's very fun. I don't know how to turn it off though. Oh, okay. Figured out the last button. Okay. So these three buttons here, this is the on off button. You press and hold it. This is the speed rotation. So how fast it goes and how slow it goes. And this is left, right. And I love the option of having it battery powered, but if you don't want it to be battery powered, you can always plug it in. So that also makes for this to be a very nice and portable item. So I'm very, very, I'm very, very happy that I picked this up. This is going to be fun to kind of play around with. So yeah, I got this. And another thing I just noticed too, is that it does come with this item here. So I guess if you wanted the top display to be white, you have that option, which is very cool. Or I'm sure this peels off. It does. Very nice. Or if you wanted it to have a mirror effect, you can do that as well. So it's nice that it came with those options. So you have a mirror effect, a white top, or it could be black. That's very genius. I feel like they thought this was a well thought out product. I also forgot to mention the price of this. I believe it was only like 10 bucks. So that's a really great deal for this. I think that's the lowest price I've seen it for on the market so far. So yeah, I picked this up. Next, I picked up some chrome powders from Timu. So actually one of my subscribers mentioned that Timu has some really good chrome powders. Y'all know I've been obsessed with chrome nails lately. So I did want to pick this up. So this one here is like, um, like some light bright Chrome powders. Okay, let's just see what it's looking like. Okay. These are the colors here. And another reason I wanted to pick up the chrome powders in a palette is because chrome powders can get pretty messy, if I'm being honest. So I like the idea of it coming inside of a palette so that I can have a little bit more control over the product. But I'm just going to go ahead and actually just swatch them out here on my hand. So this is the first chrome color. This is a really beautiful purple. This here is the next chrome powder. It's a really gorgeous, like peach. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay. The third one here is this really nice yellow. Oh my gosh. That's gonna look so pretty on the nail. I love that I have a yellow one now for yellow nails. I also picked up this blue. That's really nice. I love the, the light pastel colors. Next here is this green kind of greenish blue really pretty and last but not least is this oh wow this really pretty kind of like aurora iridescent blue so these are all the colors that I picked up for the chromes I am going to do a separate video where I actually go through and swatch the chromes but definitely wanted to give you all a quick sneak peek of what they look like really really beautiful colors so yeah, I did pick this palette up. I think it was a good deal. And then it also came with the different sponges that you need for each individual color. So yeah, I think that's a good snack from Timo. The last item that I picked up from Timo is this 25 color acrylic, what is this, acrylic paint pens. And they are water-based and they have a fine tip. I was really excited to find this. I've been wanting to get some of these nail art pans for quite some time now. And I was excited to find one that had 25 colors in it. And you guys, I think this was only like 10 or $11. I'll leave the price here on the screen, but that's a crazy deal for these nail art pans. Um, Cause I think I've seen even on Amazon that you get 12 of them for like, you know, 13, $15, something like that. So yeah, let's get these open and see what all the colors are. Oh wow, that's a lot of them. Wow, oh these are cool. Okay. So on here it says that they're high quality water-based ink, high covering, non-toxic, non-toxic, fast drying, easy to use, applied to rock painting, wood, plastic, or canvas. You all know that nail press-on nails are plastic, and so yeah, y'all, that's pretty legit. And it says, recap the marker tightly after use. Store, best store the marker horizontally. Okay, awesome sauce, y'all. So, yes, all right. So, we got all of these colors. Again, it comes with 25 different colors. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take, I have a little notebook here. Okay, and I'm just going to, like, draw all the colors on here so you can see them in action. So, I'm going to just move this over to the side and just start swatching all of them. I'm gonna do like a separate video too of me showing um, how to use them in nail art. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch all of them. So 
They don't have names to the colors, but I think that the packaging is cute. It has acrylic paint pens, and has like a little thing here, and this is the tip here, okay? So, okay, cool, and they're already ready to go. So, that's the first one here. I guess I'll just do like a little rectangle. Yeah, that's nice, okay. I wanna see maybe if I can get like a really fine. Yeah, look, you can get a fine line or you can even do a thicker line if you want it. Oh, these are gonna be fun to play with. All right, the next color I'm gonna do is this one here. Okay, like y'all, these look very similar. <laughs> are they the same? Okay, the lid shows that it's a little different, but they almost look exactly the same on this paper here. But this one here and again you can do a fine line oops and a thicker line so that's the second color and I'm gonna just go ahead and speed through me drawing all of these so I'll be right back Alrighty, so this is what this whole color palette looks like. So these are all 25 colors swatched out. I think it's a great array of colors. We got some kind of deeper or well, lighter browns that goes into mustard yellows to light yellows to light greens, deep greens, um, you know, royal blues, muted blues, purples, deep blue, um, teal. We got oranges, pinks. Um, even a red, uh, like light lavender kind of color, We've got gray, brown, black, and even the white is on here. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but the white is like a nice pure white because it doesn't even show up on the paper. So I think this is a really cool kit to check out from Timu if you all are in the market for some acrylic um, pens or pencils and even if it's just even if you're somebody who just likes to paint or um, if you want it for nail art I think that the variety of colors that come in this kit are kind of like unmatched really because I said most of these kits only come with 12 colors maybe even 10 this one came with 25 colors and it was only like 10 or 12 bucks um, so yeah highly recommend this as well and another thing that I liked about these pens too is that it's not the one where you have to like press down to get the acrylic to come out it's already wet and ready to go so i can see why it says to store them horizontally and make sure that the lid is on this it, it keeps the i think the tip uh moist and ready to go Alrighty, so this is everything that i held in my most recent timu nail supply haul um slash some other random items um the only thing that's not on screen here is that beautiful dress that i showed you all earlier but yeah i do really enjoy shopping on timu they just literally have everything you could ever need and or think of um, I am hoping that in some of my future Timu hauls, because there will be more, um, that I'm able to show you all more of the accessories and um, just other items that they offer on their website. I definitely want to get into getting some of their perfumes and such, so um, hopefully those videos will be coming soon. So let me know what your favorite item is that I hauled in this particular Timu nail supply haul. I'm actually, I'm happy with everything I got. I would probably say these acrylic pens are my favorite, just because it's probably going to make my nail art really easy. Um, and I really love this little spinning display you guys like I am so obsessed with the fact that I mean look like it works it really works like I'm so excited about this but okay that was a distraction this is everything that I got I am going to be having more hauls coming soon also enjoy this drill bit holder case as well so yeah y'all let me know what you all think about this haul I do have a discount code with Timu uh, I'm gonna leave it here on the screen as well as in the description box below and yeah I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys Leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Hope y'all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!